like this, it changed, it changed within seconds. I can see the summit. I don't know but it's about all I can see. <laughs> Oh my god. Poles bending. Alright, good morning YouTube, welcome back, Ash Outdoors this time, and uh, I'm not doing a local one for a change, I'm sick of the local ones, where there's no scenery, no hills, no nothing really, apart from fields, so I've come to Wales today, to have a little look around Cader Idris, my English isn't really up to scratch, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce any of the Welsh names of where I'm going, but there's uh, three tarns near the summit of Idris, look at that. I'm already in love. Wales, I've overlooked Wales massively. I think it's going to be a, quite a few wild camps coming up here in the near future. Plan today, pretty much got on my backpack that I'm going to be taking to the coast to coast. Now, kind of taking today as a training session and I'm trying to just walk around for the whole day basically. Got here just after eight, so plan to spend the whole day just walking around and uh, trying to fly my drone. Now the weather looks pretty dismal for the day. It was raining when I got here. Oh, I need to catch my breath. I've got some training to do. <laughs> so coast to coast training. It's been a bit non-existent of late due to personal circumstances. I just haven't had the chance to get out. So this today is literally my last opportunity to like do any walking really. Might get a few five or six milers in, but yeah, this is going to be the, the main test before I go, so it's a good test for gear. It's a good test for my minerals as well, because I feel a bit out of shape, to be honest. The rain's starting to come down behind me, as you can see. So I might have to put my, uh, might have to put my waterproofs back on in a minute. So I've just started up the Minford Pass, uh, the Minford Walk, and heading up to Cada, Just passing through the waterfalls and the woodlands near the car park. It's absolutely stunning already. So should bring me back in a little while. Right, the wind and the rain's coming in, so I've had to put the big camera away. Just managed to get a little bit of drone footage in before it started peeing down. So, I'm approaching the first tarn, which I believe is just over that nib there. I can't remember the name of it, like I say, I'll put it on the screen, but I think that's where I'm going to camp tonight. So, we're going to do a circular loop. So, I think I'm about an hour from where I parked here. So, I need to get back in the morning pretty quickly so this will be the closest point I think but yeah this is a good test um, even though it's peeing it down you probably can't hear me because of the wind I'm enjoying it this is the good thing about coming on a wet Monday maybe about what time are we at oh, it's, only, <laughs> it's only nine o'clock that's probably why everyone's probably stayed in bed to a sensible hour yeah, but it's nice and quiet so far. I should think that'll change a bit later. 
unless the weather stays like this, I think it's going to put a lot of people off. So I've reached the uh, possible camp destination for tonight. I'm not stopping here now. Look at that. So I know this is quite a popular spot for wild campers. I've seen a few people camping down here before. So there's quite a few grass areas. I shouldn't find it a problem to find time to pitch up even if there are other people here. The only problem is the wind's going to be getting up later as well. And I've got the Z-Packs, which is a um, pole tent, tension tent. So it could be an interesting night because the ground's proper wet as well. Now, I'm going to go back on myself and you can get up the nab there, just behind me, and that'll take me all around the tops of these here. And I think the summit of Idris uh, is up there somewhere. So I'm going to go and find that next and then maybe have some lunch and stuff up there and see where this afternoon takes me. So beautiful though, but so windy. Apologies for poor audio. about in it. Love it. Don't love these steps. Fucking exhausted. summit. <laughs> thought it was the top here. Got out to go yet. I'm up in the clouds. So views of uh, spectacular views are out the window from the summit but we'll get there. Oh my god it's absolutely pissing it now. down there. <laughs> Look at the views! <laughs> yeah boy! I can see the summit. Can't look at it. But it's about all I can see. <laughs> it's about 100 yards away. I think there's some sort of boffy or something up here. So I'm going to go and find that and shelter. Oh, at least I'm sheltered, eh? Jesus, that is windy. Oh, thank God for this place, mate. I've got to stop swearing. I'm doing a lot of swears in this one. That is by far the windiest and wettest hike I've ever had. And it was hard going as well. So <laughs> it's only about 11 o'clock, but I'm going to sit and have some lunch now because I've been up since four, so getting pretty hungry. Some noodles and jerky. Turkey. Oh, 
way to have this. I might actually stick the beef jerky in there as well. Was actually going to be weird. Chicken noodles and beef jerky. Let's do it. Let's see what it tastes like. Jerk chicken. <laughs> it's jerk chicken. I bought these Mylar bags to make my own sort of freeze dried stuff. Um, 19 centimetres by 12, I think it was, and it's too small. So I'm gonna have to try and get some in the next few weeks to make up some bigger packs. I'm so glad this thing's here. It's like, it seems like it's not even windy outside because you can't hear a thing because these big slate walls. But trust me, where you've seen, that's windy. Pretty good actually. Warm me up, I'm getting cold now. Oh, it's gonna be a long day and night if I'm cold and wet. This was the route I had planned out. So I parked down here at uh, Minford, is it? Minford. So there's a paint display car park there. Uh, this was where the waterfalls were going up into the valley and walked around here and I went down to the tarn there. So that's where I wanted to camp tonight, somewhere in there. So now I'm back, to, uh, went back myself up around this ridge. So I currently walked all the way around there and just where I've circled there, this is where that boffy is. Uh, that's marked on the map if you need to find it. So my plan was to go up to this tarn and do a loop of that tarn as well. I don't know why I drew a line up there, I might have camped there or something. But I think I'm going to change my plan and just come around this track here and see if I can do a circular loop and get back to that tarn because, uh, yeah, I think I took more sense and descents like that um, in this weather is not going to be fun. So this is more flat around this way. It's more of a, a little bit of a steep descent there, but I think that's about it. If I can get my way back onto that path, I think there's one that leads down to join up there again. So I'm going to try that. The weather's bad for another hour, it says, and then it might not get breaking it. So I'm just going to hold on here for a, another hour. See if it clears up and then head on out. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more sheltered down by the time. Because if it's like this up, <laughs> if it's as windy as it is up here, down there, that's not going to be fun. Um, especially being in the, uh, the pole tent. I can't get my words out today. So, this video was my 100th video for YouTube and a kind of special one for 5,000 subs as well. So thank you everybody who subs and all you new subscribers, welcome. And apologies that my wild camping trip to Snowdonia National Park is coming from a boffy. <laughs> anyway, huge thank you guys to all the subscribers. It's crazy, didn't think I'd ever get 5,000 subs. So yeah, thank you all. Yeah, so I'm gonna hold on here for a bit and get out in a bit when it's calmed down. It's starting to get a bit colder now, stopped as well. So, need to get moving. seems to have died down a little bit. Hey, look at the lens. Ugh. High quality content. That's what you get here. Yeah, wind's died down a bit and it's pretty foggy. So visibility is shite. But um, just heard some people walk past so I'm not actually the only nutter out here today. There are others. So head in that direction. And we're going to look round down there, back down to the tarn, which is down there. That's if I don't fall off the bridge, because I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> This is tough going when you can't work out where you, where you want to be. I think I'm heading down there. I'm guessing that other tarn is down that direction. But I don't actually, don't actually know. I should have my trekking poles out rather than trying to film what I'm doing, shouldn't I? It'd be a bit safer, I think. Oosh. Actually, like Mordor, it really is. Oh, there it is. Look, I don't know if you can see there. I've got a break in the clouds. Look, 
So that's what I was planning to do, just go down here and do a circular of that and back up, but I don't think I can be bothered to be honest with the ups and downs. So yeah, I'd like to show you on the map, but I'm just gonna continue around this ridge, head on back to the town. Look, sunshine. <laughs> I was here when there was sun. Oh, it's cold though, I'm cold now. I've completely come off the path and I'm a bit disorientated as to where I am. I think I've got a break in the clouds again now. Hopefully the tarp's down there. Because there's no clear path where I am. I don't know what went wrong there. Oh my God! I'm freezing as well. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so I found where I am again back on the tarn, so I've just got to find the path now, which is proving somewhat difficult. At least the sun came out momentarily. Just need this wind to die down a bit. My hands are bitter, and I didn't bring gloves. And I think they only had snow here last week as well, so that's my own stupid fault. And, uh, oh, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing, stop filming. See ya. Uh, Christ. on the path. Look at that. Okay, so I'm kind of back where I started now. Down by that waterfall, just there. Uh, the band's parked at the bottom of that valley, so I'm gonna head back up to the top. I was chilling out by the on the top of the mountain a minute ago, well, for a couple of hours actually. The sun came out, yeah, it was beautiful just to sit there. It's about four o'clock now. I'm gonna head to the tarn, probably wait an hour before I pitch a tent. I think it's uh, the rain setting again <laughs> at about five o'clock, so. Yeah, see what happens when I get there. If there's nobody about, I'm just going to pitch up straight away, I think, but see what the score is. So I might not do any more filming now until I'm all set up and uh, get some dinner on or something. Here's the rain again. It's been a wet day and I can't find anywhere to pitch. I was thinking that little bit there, but that's ridiculously small. Oh no, you're getting wet again, put your way. Right, I've made my decision. I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go here. It's not sheltered, nowhere sheltered is suitable. It's either saturated on the ground or the area is too small or not flat enough. So, what do you do? These things are here to test you, aren't they? And it's definitely gonna test the tent, that's for sure. I'm going to look around and see if I can get some uh, big boulders to put on the guy lines because I ain't trusting the pegs in this wet ground. Well that was a complete pain in the ass to try and pitch in these winds man. Oh, it's nice to be in a bit of shelter though. It's not the best pitch but don't really care to be honest. 
that'll be my view when it stops being windy and raining. Which I don't think is going to happen. I am not going to get any sleep tonight, am I? None whatsoever. Oh, polling away, look. What is the time now? Six o'clock now. So I'm going to get everything set up. I'm moving now. If someone comes and asks me to move on, they can do one. Yeah, I'm going to get my bed in and stuff. I haven't set this tent up well at all. I've got hardly any space, but I can't be bothered to move it. So I'm just going to put up with it. And it's so flappy. It's like the Lanchan. I might go and tension everything up again in a bit, but it's, um, it sounds like a plastic bag flapping around in the wind. This <laughs> is basically what it is. <laughs> I want to go for a skinny dip. I want to go for a skinny dip in the tarn, maybe later. So long as nobody else camps anywhere near me. I don't think anyone's going to be camping to be fair. Yeah, so I might go for a little dip. I daren't use the drone again because it's just so bloody windy. And we all know my past experiences with drones it don't end well. So I'm going to leave you now, get myself set up and get some food on the go, I think. This is why we do it, isn't it? Because it's fun. <laughs> oh, I'll be right when I'm asleep. I'm kind of glad that it's uh, quite mild though. So I think if this was freezing cold in here as well, I would be so miserable. And I'd be moaning to you. I'd be moaning even more if it was cold. This is actually getting beyond the joke now. Um, all the water is splashing through that gap. It's a storm flat, it don't have a zip. Um, it's getting fucking soaking. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know whether to just pack down and go and sleep in my van for the night. This is crazy. If this carries on into the night, I'm not sleeping and I'm getting wet. Oh, mate. I knew this was going to happen as well. I knew the weather was looking bad, but I just thought I'd risk it. And I don't think I should have. <laughs> I'm going to leave it another hour and see what it's like. God, it's been about two hours like this now. Oh, morning YouTube. What is it? 423 look it's been a while since I've had to pack down I mean, it's been dark but the wind was pretty relentless last night so I haven't slept much they'll take me ears out see what though if I don't have these earplugs in last night that had been a lot worse let's put a proper torch on shall we I don't know if I want to see me. Yeah, so pretty impressed with the tent. It, um, it didn't <laughs> didn't tear or the pole didn't snap. So this probably shouldn't have been up a mountain um, in high winds. You need your freestanding strong pole tents for that. But I'm dry and I'm still alive. <laughs> It's been a dramatic one for me. 100th video and it's definitely going to be remembered. Now, I'm going to get myself packed away and get on out of here. 
you like what you see, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, all that malarkey. One more camp before coast to coast. So it'll be one more camping video and then it'll be coast to coast time. Right guys, waffle, waffle, waffle. See you later, bye. Okay, here we have it. There's my spot down there. Trekking poles just here. And my bag is there, ready and packed. Sun started to come up over there. It's not as windy now. <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? It's calmed down. What's the time? Have I got time for a swim? Quarter two. It's quarter five. Shall I go for a quick skinny dip? There's no one else camping from that thing. Let's do it. Oh. I don't even know if you can see on the GoPro because it's freaking dark. I'm literally just going to dunk my shoulders in. Oh, oh it's been a while. Oh. oh, I hope this picks it up. Oh, oh mate. Right, that's it. It's been done. Bye, whales. Jesus. <laughs> that was refreshing. I haven't been for a while and uh, yeah, that's a bit of a shock to the system. Anyway, I am going to go now because I need to rush back. But thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. And I'm going to be coming back to places like this more often because yeah, I'm a bit bored of uh, local walks and camps. Like I said, more mountains on its way. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Love you all. Bye.